Good afternoon, everyone. What you're looking at here is the sifted bedding from the tea bag only worm bin. I thought I'd do a very quick follow up because I was curious about the amount of die off that appeared to ha be happening in that bin. If you remember, most of the worms were not sexually mature, they were young worms, juveniles, and I found 27 cocoons. That was it. Now I've sifted that bedding three times. So that would definitely seem to confirm that. The young worms that we saw in the tea bag only worm bin came from cocoons from adults that seemed to have reached sexual maturity and then reproduced and died off. Now this is the cardboard only worm bin and I think yesterday I said there was millions of cocoons in it which was difficult to see on camera. Well, millions is probably a slight, slight exaggeration. I'd say 297,463. But you can see here, every handful of the bedding that I lift up, there's cocoons at various stages of development. And if you remember, the lighter the shade of cocoon, the more recent it's been hatched, the darker the shade of cocoon, the nearer it the cocoon is to hatching and regardless of where I put my hand in this bin there's two little worms there you also remember that I estimated about a hundred or so worms remaining well having gone through this again today I'm pretty confident there's even more so my best guess at starting with 30 worms all being well in the bin three months uh, not three months 23 weeks later I'd have expected something like 600 worms or so in the bin. I counted out 500 yesterday and then had to stop, partly from losing the will to live from going through these tiny little bits of cardboard because you can see a lot of the worms are tiny and they love hiding in between the bits of cardboard. But um, I guess to be about another 100 or so and having gone through this now, I'm reasonably, reasonably confident there's a hundred, there's at least a hundred or so left. So this bin would have had, let's say, 600 worms or thereabouts, which would be absolutely spot on for 23 weeks, starting with 30 worms. So the cardboard only worm bin worked beautifully, basically. Um, the tea bag only worm bin totally failed to thrive. Um, I just think that's very interesting. Not entirely sure of the reasons why. The bedding pH, as you saw in both bins, was 7, so completely neutral. They were both stored in the same place. They were both stored for the same length of time. Um, and yet, just you can see everywhere I put my hand in the cardboard-only worm bin, I'm picking up um, baby worms and I'm picking up loads and loads of cocoons huge contrast between the two bins absolutely huge so there's no doubt about it in my mind it does confirm what I was suspicious of which is why I started the little experiment which was that the original tea bag only worm bin although it seemed to be working and had worms in it it didn't do well the, the worms were not happy there and this also confirms that they weren't living because if you consider most of the worms that we pulled out of the tea bag only worm bin were young worms so like i said they they came from cocoons which were hatched by adults which um who had died probably shortly thereafter You compare this to the 500 worms I pulled out. Yeah, a lot of them were quite small, but there was a lot of mature, chunky, healthy, happy-looking worms pulled out of this cardboard-only worm bin. Um, and there's so many small little worms left and so many cocoons. So a far healthier, far better bin, cardboard-only. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave this bin to, to run. I'll chuck it to bits of food and come back and look at it maybe in a few months time thanks for watching